Hi y'all, we're working very hard right now to document, measure, weigh, and compare uh, over a dozen hand casts. These were taken from a cave uh, in the northwestern U United States, a uh, rather remote cave, where uh, researcher Don Monroe believes that there's been some feral people living there. And we're going to be comparing them to find out how many individuals there might be and if any of the castings are of the same hand or same person. Uh, right now, today, I'd like to ex talk a little bit about this one that Don got that he was very interested in because it appeared, there, got it lined up. It appeared that this cast um, was had eight inch long fingers. Uh, and after reviewing it, um, it appears by the elevation of the fingers that this is actually one hand and another hand on top. So we're not really dealing with eight inch fingers and you can actually see the tips of the fingers of this hand there. Uh, these are the kinds of things that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be trying to figure out what we're dealing with here, whether they are feral people. We're going to be looking at some, some have dermal, dermal ridges and uh, lines of course on the palms. Uh, some do not. Many have hands overlapping. So we're going to, and it's in some of children's hands obviously. And that's quite concerning, <laughs> considering how remote and unusual this cave is. This is also a cave that, if you've looked at my blog and been following it, you might have heard of the Massey Man, and you'll find that in the left-hand column, uh, a humanoid in a cave. That that post is about the Massey Man. That's a four four post uh, series, and it describes a, a photograph that was taken of a seven foot tall being inside of this cave where it was quite apparent that somebody was raising pigeons and eating them and uh, digging for water and, uh, and living with quite a few people within this cave. Uh, we hope to get somebody out there again, hopefully Don can get out there again and compare and see if this group is still living in this cave or not. But it's a very touchy thing. We don't, certainly don't want to scare away anyone who might be you know, seeking refuge there, but we also would like to know if they're okay, if they need anything, uh, and also just simply document their existence, but without ever giving away the location. It's very critical that whoever is living there, that they, they get to do so without harassment. So uh, we will be giving you lots of measurements and, uh, and findings on all of the different casts, and come to some conclusions about how many individuals are in this cave, and uh, the mystery continues. Thanks.